All right, world's going on. It's your boy Sam B. And today in my tutorial, we're going to be talking about mixing and and effects. So I'm talking about the different types of effects like reverb, chorus effect, and uh, other effects like that. And so now this is just how I do it. You know, some people send send their reverbs and their chorus effects on a send bus. And I mean all you would do is probably, you know, create a send bus and send it to that particular track, you know, with different levels. But let's see what we have here. We got a uh female vocal track right here. This is for a song for my uh for my album back to the uh for my album the basics the foundation so let's take a listen to what she has to say right here. So you got me raised from heaven above with wings and power and love our God is an awesome God. Yeah, my all right so you hear how that sound yeah that sound kind of good but let's let's uh add a little effects on there and you know i'm not gonna mix it all the way out but i'm just gonna do a little bit to make it sound good all right and so you can pick up some equal equalization tips and compression tips as well on this on this video so right now I'm going to use the Oxford Equalizer. And like I say, man, on uh, previous videos, uh, you know, invest in some plugins, you know, invest in plugins because plugins are really your key to sound. That that's this plugins are the difference between someone who who's mastering your song and, and and you at home mixing your song or trying to mix your song, you know, so because they. Nine times out of ten, uh, a professional uh, engineer, they got a wide range of plugins to deal with, you know, because different plugins do different things. And and in another video, I'm going to show you the the uh, plugins for mastering, you know, because there's certain certain plugins for it, you know. And all right, so right here we're going to click an equalizer, uh, compressor, and you know I'm just going to do a reverb. Uh, no, nothing too fancy and I'm gonna do an in inflator too and also note when you're doing plugins you also you always want to do them in that order you always want to do your equalization your dynamics such as if you're using a, a gate or a deesser and then you want to do everything else like your uh, effects like reverb or in this instance I got the plugin inflator on here and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. And that's why I say invest in plugins because this plugin you probably never probably even never heard of this plugin. But uh it's made by uh Sony Oxford. And they make a whole bunch of other plugins too that are great. Sound great. So let's get right into it though. I'm just gonna uh I'm gonna cut her uh her her bottom her bottom uh bottom frequencies under 160 and I do this because everything under 160 is is just mud you know I mean you know it's just it's just not needed you know really really everything under like 80 is not needed but I mean 160 you get into professional studio, they they gonna cut it, you know. They gonna cut their 160, unless you got some type of uh, effect you're looking for, like a a very deep deep end bass effect, you know. But you always want to cut at least to 80 or 160. So remember that 80 80 hertz or 160. Really, if you just rapping and you trying to get get the cleanest sound. 160 go 160 you know between 120 and 160 
Cause it's gonna cut all that mud on it. It's just mud, you know. It's nothing. It's just it's just you know filling up filling up your track with 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 volume that's not needed, and it makes it harder to master, you know. So, and really, the better your mix is, the less people have to master. So it's, it's you know you want the best mix overall. So, all right. So we're just gonna cut this down a little bit. You know, I'm not really just, I'm not really just, just messing with it. I'm not trying to do too much. And on the dynamics, I'm going to load up a, a a female compression already that I have set up. And I got it at a six, six to one ratio, 25 threshold, attack of a 12, and a release at point one hundred and eighty seconds. All right. So now let's let's take a listen to it. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind, some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Yeah. Sounds good, right? So that's just with the plugins. Okay, now let's add a little bit of effect on her. We're gonna add the inflator on here, and basically what this inflator does is give the 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 voice like a warm effect. It brings it it brings it out on the mix, you know, like it just brings the presence out, you know, with a a, a nice warm effect and. I mean, really, if you really want to learn more about this uh this plugin, just type it in. It's called the Oxford Inflator. They got a YouTube video on it and, and it explains it in detail exactly what it does. But it's it's a great plugin. You can really use it on your master, really, or you can use it on individual tracks like this I'm using right now. So you know, so let's take a listen to it now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind, some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Right. Let's see, can you hear, can you? Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind. Some power and love, our God is an awesome All right. God. All right, you, you heard the difference when I cut it on and off. So, you know, it, it, you might can't hear it that good because, I mean, you're just hearing everything on my speakers and when I'm playing, playing w w from the microphone. But, I mean, if you can hear it, you know, you know, but I, I mean, it's probably subtle if you listen to it. But, all right, so. This is how I do do my reverbs, you know. So I got that in. And I'm gonna duplicate this track. I'm gonna dub it. Most people do this. Most people dub it. You know what I'm saying? And this is the good thing about Acid Pro because Acid Pro, when you duplicate tracks, it just duplicates it right there. Sit, and you know, you don't have to do any moving like in Pro Tools. You have to copy, it, duplicate it, get it right, move it. It's just too much work. But I mean, you know, you know, some people like working, so it's all good. All right, so we're going to uh we're going to add a uh and by the way, this is the Oxford reverb that I'm using. That reverb is excellent as well. I'm going to use the delay reverb and it said 100% wet. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to just use what I want to use on it. I'm going to use this 0.40% of the wetness and uh let's let's take a listen to it. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. All right, you can hear it. You can hear it. It uh, it's too wet though. Let's cut the volume down on the the dub track. And basically, the dub track is basically just the track for my reverb, or you pretty much I use it for just the reverb or my uh my bottom track. I would say. So let's take a listen to it. I cut it down 10 decibels. 
Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. All right, let's take a listen to it again. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom. All right. So you can you can hear it a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it on, on on the speakers, but I can definitely hear it, hear the difference of it. Well, let's take a listen to it with the beat. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings of power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Let's take another listen to it down here. Okay. So that's that, and that's basically doing effects. You know, that's how you add effects in. This just reverb. You can always add a chorus in, and basically those kind of plugins they just give it a, a bit more feel. You know, a bit more coursey feel, like like you know, just like okay, this is the chorus part of the song. You know, or just a different type of sound other than just natural. Or I'm rapping or Chorus is kind of uh, the chorus effect, kind of maybe pans the voice out, makes it sound more, you know, makes it sound more coarsey in, in lack of words. But uh, this is basically uh, how you add effects in and how your how your plugins should line up, you know. So hope you learned something. Appreciate you tuning in.